Assembly member Ron Pinnell. And we have a treat for you in this video. I'm walking through hemp in New York State. Now, you all know that we've actually passed and opened up adult use cannabis a couple of months ago. So we're working on a lot of different things. There are a lot of things that we have to deal with. We have to deal with the criminal justice issue. We have to deal with social equity. We have to make sure that, the, um, that people aren't smoking just on the streets. We have to make sure that people aren't using while driving. But this video is about the business side of it. We want to make sure that there, we have a fair business environment uh, across New York State. And there are different people in different spaces in the business. We also have to make sure that, um, I also want to show you that you don't necessarily need a license to start a business. So we're gonna have, we're gonna start this video in different parts. We're gonna have already existing people with hemp licenses. I'm gonna show you distilleries. I'm gonna show you people that were, that are in the business. I'm gonna show you people that don't have licenses. And I'll show you the legacy retail business operators. You don't wanna miss this one, check it out. It's a 100,000 square foot worth of greenhouses. We do um, processing, extraction, all on site. We do cultivation as well. And we have a product manufacturing facility with CGMP, Certified Good Manufacturing Practice, required by the state. Uh, and we produce products. And we have a small retail store here on site. Specific CBD strains that are genetically modified for 0.3% THC. These are, these are uh, different strains. You can see the different trichome profile. You can see the, uh, the different colors, the hairs. And we're looking for some, some not just on the CBD potency, but also can carry a nice sexy look at the store for flower. So all those little crystals, if you zoom in, those are those trichomes. Bags that we use, we do 100 to 200 pounds at a time before extraction. So you can see these uh, nugs and stuff, buds, we mill them down and we put it through an ethanol bath at super critical temperatures and we extract the material. Here you can start seeing some of the other material we have before it's milled. It's larger, larger, larger material, bigger buds. Um, in here, this is all CBD that was harvested from the field. So this is not the premium bud that you want to sell to the, to the stores. This is stuff that's designed for extract. And most people who are going to be growing outdoors in New York State will probably have majority of it's going to be an extract material. Outdoor is like the grade D material and it's not going to be that premium stuff. Plus it's prone to molds and mildews because it's from outdoor. We've had over 40 people working here at one time. Uh, we had a lot of outdoor operations, cultivation operations. Uh, we have <clears throat> indoor um, cultivation as well in the greenhouses. We've um, product manufacturing is beginning to take off and we we need help with that as well but uh, some of the skilled trades we need cultivators we need uh, extractors we need formulators do me a favor smell some of this so CBD flower but what is, what is this this is this is a uh, CBD flower that was harvested right here at our farm and so this is, so is this cannabis? Is this 
hemp is this? So this is CBD, it's cannabis, but it has low THC level um, genetically. So this wow. is at 0.3% or less THC. Wow, wow, wow. How's it smell? It smells, I guess, what does it smell? What's it smell? Potent. To smell? Yeah, it, smell, it smells kind of potent. It, sm it doesn't smell like a strong, it doesn't smell like what I know marijuana to smell like. You know, but it smells, it has a potent smell. Mm. Yeah, it has a smoke, but it doesn't smell obnoxious. Different terpene profile in this one. Um, similar to what's in cannabis. So, really? uh, yeah, yeah. Kind of smells citrusy, kind of. Mm hmm Now you smell the lemonine. The what? The lemonine. Remember I told you about the yeah. terpene? Yep. Wow. 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 And it's legal to carry. Now, is your scale game tight? Can you tell how... No, I can't. <laughs> I can't. CBD is a little more fluffy, a lighter weight. Okay. That's just because of the genetics. And you'll see more with the THC stuff, there's a little more weight to it. Probably because there's more oil, more THC oil in it and so forth. Okay. Wow. Wow. Cool. Well, thank you for coming. Oh. I hope you enjoyed yourself. Appreciate it, man. Cog Nation is a sovereign nation, but we do follow some federal guidelines. Um, we operate a hemp cultivation farm that we process the hemp into organic extractions and retail it. Uh, well, the process is definitely extensive and it's a lot of hard work, uh, farming and getting to know how to grow the plants, what to cultivate, what uh, kind of genetics to get, to get the end product result that you want. So we um, look for the genetics that are high in CBD and low in THC. So we are also meeting the uh, federal requirement for less than 0.3% THC dry weight. So we look for those genetics, grow those, and that is, has been probably the most uh, difficult thing is to find out about those those plants and how to grow them, what atmosphere they like, and uh, to actually get a final product. My mom, this is like she started her this prayer fire like maybe um, over five years ago. Um, and it was in response to the murder to missing indigenous women wow. and um, domestic violence. So the, the fire got started and it burns. Um, anytime people come down here, pretty much every day, um, people gather down here. Um, we meet as a family down here. So then we put in our longhouse and we put in a teepee. So we're representing the East Coast Indians, natives, and the West Coast natives. So the East Coast natives have a longhouse? Mm -hmm. this, oh, so wow. this would be what the Eastern Woodland Coastal Native pe Indigenous people would live in. Something like this or meet in. It's more of like a gathering place gotcha. because it's big. Like, you know, wiki ups are, um, you know, what we lived in. But this is more like, you know, so you can gather in it and, yeah. So this, so, so this is East Coast. So this is East Coast, yes. And this is built by family and friends and people in the community that came together. Wow. Yeah. So, and it just went up like not too long ago. Oh, so, yeah. So take us to the West Coast. And then, <laughs> <laughs> yes, they do it like all, like try to do like, you know, all the traditional. Oh, wow. Ways and stuff. All right, we're going to the teepee, Mom. We're going to the teepee then. I have to go down, I have to bend down. Oh my gosh. Uh, yep, yeah, if you want to. <laughs> you All gotta right. fix that one of these things. <laughs> it's a little bit, uh, yeah, you gotta get down in there. All right. <laughs> you can take one of the sticks out too, see? Oh. Oh. All right. Okay. Oh, God. Come on, close your eyes. Close your eyes. I don't want, I don't want you to see. Oh boy. All right. Okay, I'm in. All right. <laughs> Doing it the old native way. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe I think, you know, it probably would have something maybe to lean on as you come in. 
I think it's because when you go into a teepee, usually, oh, okay. you know, you're like on the ground, mm -hmm. like mm -hmm. a sweat lodge. Yeah, wow. wow. So you're like on the ground, you come inside. This, um, We've had this for, I don't know, quite some time in the family. So we decided to put it up. Oh, cool, cool. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So I guess this is all, I guess these are all, you got to find the straight logs, I guess. And yep. it's tied up uh, together up top. Yep, then you can put it together. Uh, in a certain kind of pattern, and then, yep, it goes out. So, it, you know, it's hot outside, but it's cool in here. It's not so bad in here. Yeah. Yeah, that's supposed to be like, you know, then you put the fire in the middle usually. Wow. And, and then the fire goes, goes out. Oh, yeah, wow. I mean, this was like what they lived in. Okay. On wow. the, you know, west side. On wow. the west side. All right, I'm out. Okay, yes. yeah, yeah, I'm out of here. <laughs> Actually, I think this is one of the best businesses for women to be in right now. Uh, there's a lot of attention on the other women business owners in New York State and people are really um, pushing and encouraging women to step into the industry. They have a lot of support. I think it's because it's working with a medicinal plant that makes it a little bit more special to people and a, more of a connection to women.